do it. We'll just figure it out as we go. By Unbeaten Duck. Oh boy. Now that's a name. <laughs> Hello everyone. We Ooh. are going to read a very special fan fiction today called Face the Strange. Uh, this was a reward uh, because I had to push back the gaming stream by a month. So I, I told my Patreon people that they could pick one fan fiction as a group and I would <laughs> and I would read it. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck says Tropical <laughs> Junk? Uh, nah, so everybody, apparently you voted for Face the Strange. I don't know what it is. It's is. It's got Harry Potter and it's got Nart. And, and it should be noted, this has Yuri, Yaoi, and S&M. Yep, says that right up here. You know, I'm so, glad that they're finally writing fan fiction about Boruto's dad. Yeah. You know, I've been waiting for that. He seems like such a chill guy in the show, you'd think they would have done it by now. But, oh man, Tony, I thought this was an art stream and I panicked. <laughs> nah, this is a, let's read some shit. Oh yeah, and we also have Stefan today. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is, this is our first stream hanging out at our new at our new place where we live. Yeah, in the in the cabin. So this is exciting. I yeah. guess I'll start us off here. Do it. Chapter one. Da Dally mm. Dally was riding the Hogwarts Express to Hogwarts with her best friend Edward Edward Cullen. <laughs> this now has Twilight too. Okay. She had just found out she was a witch and a vampire with Edward, and now they were going to school to train to be better. Okay. Edward. Do you miss Bella? I asked. Grr. I don't want to talk about Bella, Edward said. Oh, are you guys fighting? I asked. She's being a cunt, he <laughs> yelled. She thinks I like you. Um, I mean... Why would she say that, Dally asked. Um, well, uh... Suddenly there was a sound at the door of the trolley. I'm going around with candy. Would you like to buy some? Came the voice from the door. Yes, come in, yelled Edward. He wanted a distraction. Oh my god, dude. The door slid open and in came a boy with spiky black hair and black clothes, and he had his arm wrapped up. Wait. <laughs> mm, that's, Sa that's Sasuke, isn't it? My name is Hie. He said, I'm selling these candies to pay for my trip to Hogwarts. He showed them the tray, and there were birdies, bots, and candy frogs with cards on them. Edward noticed that Dally was staring at Hie and growled. We aren't interested. Go away. Oh, okay, Hie said. Wait. Uh, oh, I would like to buy some... Uh, not I would. I am, ooh, uh, excuse me, uh, I am wood. <laughs> Are you retarded? <laughs> that is... I am wood. This is now Duang. <laughs> I am wood. What are you, am some retard? Oh my god. This is... Where the fuck am I? Oh, I am would like to buy some buddies bots. I thought it was birdies. I don't know <laughs> shit about Harry Potter, by the way, I'm sorry. Uh enthusiastically and smiling she reached for some and touched hands with he a <laughs> Edward Garad <laughs> Garad <laughs> alright um oh fuck who is it oh oh um well mm, that will be okay well it's free for you bro you're not gonna go to Hogwarts <laughs> with a business model like that yeah you're trying to pay your way and you're giving out free freebies. You know, that's like if you're, you know, paying your way through college, giving lap dances, you start giving them out for free. You're not going to be able to pay for that college, especially if it's Marlboro, because it's expensive yeah. here. Oh my god. Uh, he said he was flustered because he touched hands with Dally. He thought it, she was very cute. Thank you! <laughs> said Dally. <laughs> he left, and Dally began to ate the beans. <laughs> the beans. What? So do you like that guy? Edward asked. You can, you can take over for a bit. Of course, he gave me free food. He is very nice, Dally said happy. Suddenly, they arrived at Hogwarts and uncame from the train. How do you how do you suddenly arrive? Like on a train you see it in the distance, you know? They also announced that they, they were also announced. Be there in like five minutes. Exactly. 
they were greeted by a big wizard <laughs> with a long white bear. Expanded and, wizard. <laughs> enhanced wizard. And a pointy hat, and he said, Come students, follow me to the Great Hall, and we will eat and get you sorted. Dally and Edward got into a boat and went into the Great Hall with Dumbledore. They sat down at a table, coincidentally, right next to their friend from the ship, Hie. So, so was it a train or a ship? It's a trolley also. Okay, but like, they got in the boat. Did the train stop by water? I don't think <laughs> Oh, I just saw the next line. Ooh. Dally was also sitting next to a black and red hedgehog. <clears throat> <clears throat> My name is Shadow, said the hedgehog. Edward began to grar again. Grr. Why are you talking to Dally? He said. Without another... <laughs> Without another quotation. Oh, God. <laughs> Calm down, said Dally. He is my best friend. <laughs> he gets a little territorial sometimes. Oh, okay, said Shadow. All right, said Dumbledore. I will now sort you into the hat. He's going to pick you up and put you into the fucking hat. The hat will consume you. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is some ridiculous levels of edge. I really <laughs> don't know what's going on. Um, oh, I'm glad. You guys aren't asking too many questions in the chat so we can focus on this absolutely beautiful piece was, of fiction. I was gonna say, when we're playing like Garfield card or something, it's, it's much easier to keep an eye on the chat, but when we're reading this... It's a little harder. Let me tell you guys, I woke up this morning, and I looked at my phone to see what time it is, and I slept in by about three hours. But on top of that, I checked my email, and it says, it says, Tony, someone's bought one of your t-shirts, and I <laughs> check, and somebody buys one of my Steel Soul t-shirts. Like, and not just the one with, with Steel Soul, it was the one with all of his fucking <laughs> backstory. backstory on it. Here, I'll pull it up on the screen. Somebody bought this, and it, it tells me where they're from, too, which is great. It says, someone in the United Kingdom has purchased this nice. t-shirt. Here it is. They, someone out there, you're, you might be reading it right now. I don't even know. Someone bought this. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> bought this <laughs> entire t-shirt. <laughs> then he uses to beat Joseph Joestar and, and Goku, Goku and Naruto and Luffy at once. But not Toriko. Toriko not, is too strong. Yeah, Toriko is very strong. So whoever you are, uh, you have fantastic taste and you're pretty much the best boy right now. Just I don't know who you are. Doesn't tell me, but man, you're 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 adorable. I think I'm it's gonna... me. I'm here, says <laughs> Mister. You're a winner. Congratulations. Right Good job. I think I'm, I'm gonna sit down and, and design a Toriko. Uh, Self-insert uh, OC. I think it'll be great. I'll make him stronger than Toriko, but you know, maybe maybe make him weak to celery. So you know, he's got he's a little balanced. That's the problem, though. You can't make OCs balanced. <laughs> They're not supposed to be. <laughs> like I haven't seen a single weakness about this Dally. Is Dally an actual character? Is and Dally an ogre? We don't know what Dally looks like. They didn't even start out with describing her. She could look like anything. For I all thought we know. you would know because I thought she was Harry Potter. Uh, she is not a Harry Potter. See, I've I've only read like maybe four of the books, and I've only read through them once. So for all I know, Dally could be a character, but I think she's a self-insert. Okay. Well, I'm assuming. The chat uh, would know. Can you? So, okay. So Dally isn't. I know she's definitely not Sonic because I know too much about Sonic <laughs> characters. I don't. Is Dally? Is is Dally Nart? Is that a Nart character? I don't actually know enough about Nart to know that. I don't know if if she is. She might be uh, one of Boruto's dad's friends, and we don't know a lot about his past. So. Yeah, that's true. We know that they hung out for a little bit. And, uh, they were ninjas, they obviously. Ramen. Yeah. Um, I don't actually know if they have any special jutsus. Borto's dad really doesn't seem to use jutsus in the show very much. It's a little weird. Yeah. When he does something, it's cool. I just want to know more, you know? Uh, so let's see here. We're... So we're, we're a little past... Okay, we weren't getting to Slithering yet. Okay. Uh, alright, I think we were right here. One by one. Or one by one. <laughs> I... <laughs> Oh, man. I said Dumbledore. I will now sort you into the hat. One by one by on, each of the students and the hedge, hedge mice, because there are some Sonic characters. <laughs> hedge, what the fuck? 
because I had mice. <laughs> came up to the sorting hat. It told poems for the houses. There is Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. You know, I've never actually seen in these fanfiction people making their own houses, which I'm a little disappointed by. Yeah. Uh, so, you know. Edward Cullen, said the hat. <laughs> Sl- Slytherin! <laughs> Slytherin! <laughs> Even I know that's not right. Edward put on a silver and green scarf and sat down at a table at the end. He winked at Deli <laughs> as if to say, come to my house. Shadow Slytherin. <laughs> Shadow put on a silver and green scarf and sat down next to Edward. Gee, I hope she gets Slytherin. Thought, <laughs> thought Shadow. Okay, the spelling of Slytherin is all over the fucking place. I love it. All right. Yay. Slytherin. He put on a silver and green scarf and sat down next to Shadow and Edward. He could not stop gazing at Dally. Grazing. I'm sorry. He could not stop grazing in the direction of Dally. He was munching that grass, but his eyes, they weren't on the grass. They were on Dally. (laughs) Oh my god. Now it was Dally's turn. Dally! called the hat. She was beckoned and so went up. The boys did a drum roll with their feet. Ravenclaw! Oh, fuck. Dally's face fell off. (laughs) Jesus Christ. That's the end. Slipped right off. She died. She could not believe it. The boys looked so disappointed. She sadly put on the black and blue scarf, he black and blue scarf, (laughs) and sat at a table with a group of strangers. Lucky, my dog, she found her friends, Carla, Annie, Megan, and Megan at her table. Hey guys, I didn't know you were witches. Yes, we just found out this summer, said Megan. I... I... Oh, that's you, yeah. I, I don't know who that... I think that's you. Maybe it's... Maybe it's the hat. Maybe it's both of us. Yeah. I can't, I can't believe we're in the same house! <laughs> so there was good news after all. They began to head back to their... Mm, the wrong there. <laughs> Home, rooms, when he a stopped Dally in the hall. Listen, Dally, I want to tell you something, said he a. I like you. I like you too, he a, I guess, she said softly. Oh, wait, no, hold on. <clears throat> I like you too, she said softly. Then he kissed her, and their lips met like, like fire. fire. Shit was lit. <laughs> it was lit. <laughs> okay, okay. That's enough. The voice. It was pr- Professor um- Umbrud. Uh, um- Umbrudge. Umbrudge. The Defense Against Dark Arts teacher. Go to your rooms. I'll see you tomorrow. Said he a and kissed her again. I said enough. God damn it! <laughs> shouted the professor. Bye. <laughs> Dally. <laughs> They left, and from the darkness, two eyes watched. Ooh. It! <laughs> Stephen King's It was Edward. What a plot twist. He was, he was mad. mad. Chapter 2. Ooh. Chapter 2. I can't highlight anything. It's a prevention so that we can't... Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So... So what do you guys, you know, what do you guys think so far? I feel like the the plot is really developing. I think I think it was really cool, you know, JK Rowling is really expanding here going into some of that some of that alternate, you know, away from Hogwarts. But I mean, we're in Hogwarts, you know, different characters, characters that aren't Harry Potter. That's what I'm saying, you know. You know, I really thought it was it was a bold move when she decided that she was going to put an art in here because yeah. the crossover we were hinted at, you know, in Boruto's dad the sequel, uh, the prequel, the the DVD, the movie. And it was the OVA. Yeah, it was just a really, you know, it was really fantastic of them to really follow but, through on that. But you know, that. she she went and she contacted Ichiro Oda and and got permission to use Nark characters, uh, and I, I think that was really cool. That I, he was willing to just you know let her use his creations. I really did not expect to see Stephen King's It at the end there. I thought that was a fantastic plot twist. I mean, there is in fact there is a this is an actual thing that happened. Stephen King did write a review uh, about. You know about Harry Potter, and he said, "What the fuck did he even say?" I think he said like one of the characters is the best character ever portrayed in, in fiction. That's a real thing. That's, That's not even a joke, which is uh, which is weird. So you know, this is pretty fantastic. Do you do you like Stephen King? 
You know, I, um, I, don't, I don't have a problem with Stephen King. I haven't, you know, I don't really read books. Books aren't really my thing. That's true. I'm the, I'm the bookie boy. So, I mean, yeah, I know the books are good. I can tell you that the most of the Stephen King films are garbage. Yeah. I was going to say, I haven't I haven't watched too many Stephen King films. I haven't... I, I've, like, read partway through Stephen King books, and they never, you know, they never got to me. But, you know, when he when he did a guest chapter on, you know, st- what was a Strange Face? Face the Strange? Mm-hmm. I think his guest chapter was... It was very well written. It's a different yeah. kind of style, but it was it, it fit really well, you know. It really shows he can adjust himself to different settings. My mom, by the way... Fucking loves Stephen King. We have like every Stephen King book in my house. And Skyler's dad loves Stephen King. Wow, you know what is it? Maybe with... we should get them together. You know, the Jer Bear. <laughs> mm. Nah. Uh... Oh, someone said the stream died. Yeah, the stream the stream dies a lot because the college internet is real bad. Yeah, especially out here. Uh, we used to be on the main campus, and the internet was okay there. And now we're kind of off campus a little bit, and uh, they just they they don't care about our internet here. Yeah, they don't, which is uh, unfortunate. I yeah, I should probably make the announcement. You know, I should have done it at the beginning of the stream, but I guess I'm gonna have to do it. You know, 16 minutes in now, but I can't stream video games <laughs> with this internet, which fucking sucks. So you guys are going to be overloaded every month with zillions of fan fiction and, uh, you know, and, and drawing streams because I, I really, I really just cannot stream (laughs) video games. I'm going to attempt to stream Pajama Sam, but I don't think it's going to work, you know, just as a, just as a fucking heads up. (laughs) So there's going to be a lot of drawing and, uh, and fan fiction while I'm going to college here. But it'll be cool because we have Stefan to read it with me for Yay. a while. So let's let's go back into strange right, faces. Let's get back into Ravenpaw. <laughs> Ravenpaw. What? Nelly sat in the common room of Ravenpaw. Ske- <laughs> that's the furry house. Sketching a picture of Hie and thinking of his kiss. Suddenly, C C looks up. Those are those are ser pronouns. Oh, I s- oh okay. I'm sorry. Uh, looks up at the fire in front of her, and a face appeared. The fire turned blue like water, but it was fire, and the ice and the eyes we yellow. Hello, said the fire. Mom, said Dally. Just oh, we got we got X Men. Wow. <laughs> Can't you get like a booster for the Wi Fi? No, we got a booster. Oh, I was. What do? I'm gonna have to label these that they're broken as fuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. It fixed itself, it's I guess. Back. Is it back? Just I, then, it couldn't handle Mystique from X Men. I was gonna say, in. what was the last thing they heard? Do you think? I'm assuming Mystique from X Men. Yeah. Just then, Mystique came out of the fire. She was naked, but she didn't have nipples. Wow. Zero out of ten. You know. I'm not reading the next line. You're reading that. Now that you are a wizard, I can give you my powers," said Mystique. She handed me an orb, and suddenly the room turned colors. <coughs> Sorry, that might have been too loud. Screamed Della. Oh, it's Della now. Okay. She was in a lot of pain and suffrage. She was a she was a suffragette. She was ready to go out and fight for women's rights. <laughs> then Mystique disappeared, leaving Dally with a belt with an X on it. She was now a mutant. Dally could feel a new rush hour of power a new rush hour of power in her organs. She tried it out and turned into a bat. Well, I could already do that cause I'm a vampire lol, she thought to herself. So ten, she tried it out again and turned into a demon chaos chow from Sonic Adventure 2. A spiky ball was above her head. Oh my fucking Christ, she said. I can turn into whatever I want with (laughs) Mystique's power. (laughs) That's a very musty Mystique. She pulled out her Blackberry and tixted Hie. Hie, I am a chow. He came right over. (laughs) What if I... Come over and fuck, babe. I can't. I'm studying for the test in Dumbledore's class. I'm a chow. I'll be right there. (laughs) You know... I know we live two feet from each other, but if I texted you in the morning and I was like, Tony, I am a chow, would you come over and, you know... I'd probably ask what the fuck you're talking about first. (laughs) 
I don't think I'd come right over. <laughs> you, wow. Man, it's you know it's it's hilarious to hear of a BlackBerry because those aren't really a thing anymore. Yeah, they no. were a thing for a short period. But she like... whipped out her Palm Pilot <laughs> after getting the page. Ooh, sorry, my beeper's going off, guys. <laughs> oh my god! All right, where are we at? She turned. Yeah, she turned back though, <laughs> though because instanced it would be creepy if they kissed, <laughs> and he said it was really cool. He wanted the powers too. So he asked the fire, Can you give me those powers too? No, Mystique showered. <laughs> right there in front of them. I mean, she was already naked, I yeah. guess, you know. So so they're about to say, You're no doubter of mine, so I guess Dally is Mystique's daughter. Okay. You are not my doubter, and therefore I cannot pass the powers on to you. However, if you get married, you will be my son, <laughs> like the stand, the son, so we can do it then. You know what this means, he a said. Where, where's Edward and Shadow, by the way? Yeah, if I we, mean, they're just fucking off in the Slytherin dorm, I guess. Maybe they're gay together. Maybe they're if playing... If get married, I can have the powers. But suddenly, Dally began to think of the other guys in her life. There, Wow, I just had to wait a fucking <laughs> sentence. I'm impatient. There was Edward. He had Bella... But he said something about liking her on the trolley, and there was Shadow, who looked at her like, I like you. She loved Hiei, but she liked the others. I don't think so. I have cold toes, said Dally, that and she not ran the away expression. crying. Mm. No, you can't leave me here at the altar, shouted Hiei in, in upset. <laughs> ha ha, ha. Laughed Mystique. You will never <laughs> fucking get to powers, you little bitch. <laughs> and then she disappeared, and so did he, a because he's not supposed to be in Raven Call's dorm room. What lol? What the fuck was he thinking? <laughs> Dally with an I. Was it always with an I? No, it was with a Y. Uh, wept quietly to herself. Man, I'm impressed that she was able to write the word quietly because normally yeah. people always write. Quitely. Quite. Uh, when all of a sudden a blonde walked out of his class and a Ooh, here we go! Approached Digid her. What's wrong, Dally? He asked. Who are you? I asked. My name is Draco Malfoy, he said. Mm. Are you okay? <laughs> He's a dog. Oh. You can you can keep going. Dally looked into Drake's eyes, Drake of the Thousand Dragons. <laughs> Drake of the, was it, 99 Dragons? Yeah, it's 99 Dragons. <laughs> and saw that he cared. He was full of compassion, like a snake. Snakes are very compassionate. The boy held out a hand and pulled up Dally up. Do you want me to walk you to your class? He asked. I would love that, Dally said, battering her ashes. I think that's supposed to be batting her lashes, but nah. She's taking grandma's ashes, putting them in a mixer, battering up that cookie dough. Making some cement. Making some cement. They began to walk down the hallway together when a blast came out before Hetem. From the past. Blast from the past. It was Edward. Oh no. Dally, he shouted. What are you doing with all these boys? At least she used the gender-neutral term for boys. I appreciate <laughs> yeah. that. Um, Edward, it's really none of your business. Now let us go to the Great Hall. She snipped. <laughs> it is dangerous, Sue! <laughs> he begun to raise his voice. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous, Sue! Just then, Draco pulled out his wand, and him and the vampire got into a big Excuse fight. me, vampy. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Vampy got into a big fight. But Dumbledore. All right, let's let's break this down. Dumbled um door. There you go. Came and broke it up. We don't get a description of the fight. We just hear that they fought. That's it. He shouted. You boys will come. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. Have a talk with me in my office, and then they left. That that come was spelled exactly. Here, I'm gonna spell it out in the chat. Coom. There you go. Mm, that's the proper way. All right, let's see. Where the fuck are we? Uh, I think. Uh, wait, no. Well, yeah. uh, so Dally so had, to, Dally go had to go to the great hall by herself, and then Shadow came and joined her. 
What's a pretty girl like you doing all be yourself in the Great Depression all alone? <laughs> the Great Depression? Yes. <laughs> he asked her. Well, he a is being an asshole, she said and cried again, <laughs> spelt incorrectly. Shada put his paw on her leg and massaged it as her caressed. <laughs> it's okay, he said. It's okay. That's not what he says when he pets Chow. That's what that's what Tails says. Is it? Yeah, Tails says everything will be okay, but Shadow just goes, hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hiei was updates punished Wall's anger. What? What? Ang- angrily. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. Yeah, sorry. I, I fucked up that last <laughs> one. That's my fault. Uh, why did I hurt her? He asked himself, and then he thought of sol- soluble. <laughs> I will win her back, he said. Meanwhile, Edward and Draco were upstairs in Dumbledore's house. Not his room, his house. <laughs> they were sitting on his bed. Oh. Because he said they were out of cars. <laughs> 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 Sorry, boys, my jalopy's in the shop. Uh, what do you think you punishment should be? Dumbledore asked, pa- pacing around. He was wearing a black t-shirt and ripped... Holly Hollister jeans that showed off his muscles. His leg muscles. His muscles. Edward Gerd. Grr. His, his senses were tingling that something was not wrong. What, if, if nothing's wrong, then why do you fucking care? Everything's right. Nah. Mm. Suddenly, you're still doing an art stream today, right? Yes, there will be an art stream today. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we'll be drawing, but it'll be good, I promise. Uh, let's see. Maybe some beefy leg Dumbledore. Maybe it could. You know, <laughs> I could draw some really beefy Dumbledore. <laughs> so, be, so because I can't stream video games, I'm gonna be doing a lot of art streams. I was considering having you guys give me an idea for like a ginormous scene. Normally, I draw one character, but I was thinking maybe I'd do like some Ooh. landscapes and maybe some characters fighting in them. I don't know. That'd be cool. Um. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but if you you know I'll probably just ask the Discord and you guys can tell me you know Tony where is your chatbot is he dead yet yeah, chatbot only works sometimes um, why no video games because the internet in the cabin here had it, it I literally can't play video games we we tried to play Overwatch last night um, this was it, without streaming yeah without streaming I think our other housemates were away too so you know no one else was using the internet it died uh, it was bad it was bad. Overwatch was not working, it was bad. Uh, but is it fan art or your art? You know, I was thinking it was probably just gonna be, uh, my art. I don't know. I, I don't know what I would draw. I don't really have art, I just draw pe- other people's shit and make it bad. I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but, uh, fuck. Where, where are we at? Suddenly Dumbledore, you're about to reach the best line. <laughs> Suddenly Dumbledore put his hands on bottom of their legs and said, I came to think of something. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> OMG! You faggot! (laughs) Draco screamed, he tried to run, but he could not. So, you didn't read Harry Potter, but in the book, that was his catchphrase. You know, if he and Harry were, like, having a spout, or Mm -hmm. sorry, a a spat, Draco would usually just, you know, end it by yelling, OMG, you faggot! Wow. That that happened, like, so many times. You know, I do remember that being a thing. I do remember J.K. Rowling coming under a little bit of heat, you know, because people were like, why are you using the word faggot? It's a little offensive. And she was like, listen, it's a word that I really feel fits the story. And Draco as a character. And Draco as a character. I know it's not, you know, PG. I know it's not PC, you know. But fuck it, I'm going to... What are you guys, a (laughs) bunch of faggots? (laughs) That's a quote from J.K. Rowling. (laughs) J.K. Rowling, quote... 2009. Oh, when my she God. released the first Harry Potter book. It's you know, it's awful. You can you can start on chapter three here. All right, chapter three. Shadow and Dally were talking in the great hall when all of the sudden a cheetah ran at warped speed. It was going to the warped tour. If this is Chester Cheetah right now, I hope it's Chester Cheetah. Oh, it might be a Sonic OC barreling through chairs and people in a frantic rush of hurry. (laughs) That's how you know he was going fast. (laughs) Shadow! Dally! shouted the cheetah. Suddenly, it turned back into Charla. Oh, so she can she can anamorph into Chester Cheetah. Hmm. She is a animograph and can turn into a cheetah. 
Okay. Wasn't that your favorite books as a kid, Animographs? I fucking... I, I had every Animographs, uh, and you think I'm joking, but I actually am not. Um, <laughs> they are all stored away, but I own every single Animorphs. Uh, something is going upstairs. With an E. With an E. <laughs> That's the European spelling. Yeah. Shadow put them all on his back. Okay. Because he is fastest, even faster than the leopard... Thought it was a cheetah, and Le- they ran. Lepo, is that oh, the- sorry. No, the- I think that is how to spell. That is correct. Okay, yeah. I got I got spooked for a minute. And they ran upstairs and busted down Dumble's door. Okay, that's good. That's pretty clever. <laughs> Just in time to see him unzipping his jeans. <laughs> his jeans his with genetic a genetic code. <laughs> I'm going to wipe you with my genetic code, Edward. No, Edward. Dally yeah. shouted. She loved Edward, and would never see him get hurt. She ran at Dumbledore, and head-butted him. Which head? (laughs) He flew back into the wall, and fell into his phoenix. 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 And they both exploded into thin air. (laughs) Fuck, we lost them, exclaimed Draco. We have to get that bastard fired from (laughs) Hogwarts. The three of them mated downstairs. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's a little graphic. To Professor... <laughs> Professor... <laughs> Professor McDonald's... <laughs> <laughs> Professor... McDonald's... <laughs> 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 Come on down to McNoggles. Get a five piece Mag- McNoggle meal. Three ninety nine. Oh my God. Okay, so they made it downstairs to Professor McNoggles' orifice and demanded an interview. Noggle Cafe. <laughs> oh my God. She opened the dory to her chamber and said, Come in, dearest stunts. What can I ask you in? What? What? Maybe that was supposed to be assist you in. I th- ass you in is better. Ass you in. We need to get a certain pe- pedophile fired from this place, said Harry. Oh, Harry's here now. Oh, I didn't know that. He tried to rape some students, including me. Okay, You, were, you okay. weren't there, Harry. Yeah, Harry wasn't there. It was Edward and Draco. All right, I'm going to do it. Pick it up. Oh, no, don't worry. Thought I will... Thought. The Thought Patrol. <laughs> I will have it all took care of, she said, and bamfed out. <laughs> a week later, a blog was posted about it in the bathrooms that said, a teacher has been fired to improper actinix against a student. This teacher is Professess Umbridge. What? They all mounted in unicorns. <laughs> they fired the wrong teacher. Wait, keep reading, said Shadow. It said more. There was a new teacher to be hired in place of this one, and his name is Jack Skeleton. Oh! Jack Skeleton. Mm. Yay, I said. Professor Skeleton will know what to do. <laughs> Let's go to his class and tell him about that faggot Dumbledore. This needs to relax. As, as a quick aside, isn't it Jack Skellington? It is. Yeah. Yes, this is incorrect. Yeah. They wailed over and came into his office. He was very skinny and had a skull for a head and no eyes but teeth on them. Oh. He had teeth on his eyes. That he didn't have. Hello, students. What can I help you with? He asserted. Dumbledore is gay, blarted Edward. Paul blarted Edward. Well, students, there is nothing wrong with being gay, he said. I am bisexual (laughs) myself. You're a skeleton, Jack. No, but he tried to finger us, said Draco. He turned blue a little because he was embarrassed. Draco is straight, and it's Adam and Steve, not (laughs) Adam and Steve! (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Ah. Tony, have you watched Neo Yokio yet? It's the cringiest shit you'll ever watch. It's amazing. No, I haven't, but I can tell you one of my favorite things uh, living in this cabin is that we'll do random anime nights. We'll, we'll have a list of, like, 
every anime ever on this on you know yeah, a website on a website and we'll just scroll through and click one at pure random let's let's tell them about the one we watched last night <laughs> what, what was the name of that one lanky oh, lanky boy supreme lanky boy supreme uh sister boner party that was i don't the know name of it. we uh we watched this one it was a little sister we okay keep in mind when we we do not we do not say no doesn't matter what it is so we clicked on this one last night that was like, it was it was a little sister one. Oh fuck! This not while we're talking about the incest. <laughs> Why would the stream die when we're talking about the incest? It was a it was a little sister incest anime, and uh, the best thing about it is the fact that the characters were so fucking lanky. Yes. I'm not even kidding. They looked like One Piece characters. It looked like, like Luffy extended. All the time. For yes. everyone. For everyone. It was so bad. On top of that, you know, there's this... Like, the little sister, of course, doesn't... Ma it wasn't a wrong... Eromanga sensei. No, not at all. Uh, it was... Fuck, I can't remember the name. Was it Strawberry Panic? No, no, no. That was the Catholic school one. Right, with, Strawberry with Panic. the lesbian Catholic girls. That's right. Yeah, that one was not good. No, that, that one, one was boring. It was very boring. There was See, the incest one was at least interesting. You know, it had us disgusted and engaged all the time. It was so good that Stefan wanted to watch a second yeah, episode. Yeah, we watched a second episode. So I, I also want to emphasize, um, in the first episode, you know, obviously no one cares about me spoiling this, it turns out that she's adopted. Mm -hmm. And on one hand, she's like, oh, that's cool, that means it's alright if I fuck my brother. But then on the other hand, she says, oh, but that makes it less hot. It would have been way more hot if we were blood related. It's bad. It. it I was like, oh my. Ugh. It's really bad, you know. Uh, and yeah. Oh, just the lank. They were so lanky, and the thing is, is that they drew the character. Their scenes were like they're showering or they're just naked a lot. Yeah. So you have to. You have to see the lank. At its full expanded lankiness all the time. It's so also, bad. Also, there's one point where she finds all of his porn, and she's like, wow, Oni-chan has a lot of porn. I'm gonna get rid of all of it except the little sister incest. Yup. And she actually says that and does it. Out loud. The mom comes the in mom and she's comes like, in. mom, take away all of this. But she hides the, the little sister porn. Oh, it's so bad. Alright, fuck, where are we? Uh, they tried to finger us. Okay. Oh, fuck, said Jack. They explained to his the whole story, and he said, Don't worry, I will take acres of this. Just go to your rooms and sleep for tonight. Until then, incest Dumbledore is not here. There are no rules. Oh, okay. Mm. So they left and went to their rooms, except for Dally and Hie, who hung out outside where the dorm rooms started. Did you hear what Professor Skeleton said? He asked. I know that you are mad at me, but there are no rules, and maybe I can make it up to you. What? How would you do that? Asked Dally. Just then, he pushed her against the Ravenclaw s satellite. Oh. And because and because to kiss her gastrically. <laughs> oh, gross. That's gross. He's just farting nonstop. <laughs> That is actually disgusting, and I'm sure someone's fetish right now. She put her tongue in his mouth and felt his teeth. Ew. He cut his tongue on her fangs, and the blood dripped down his chin. He was he was turned on by it, and suddenly Dally felt something against her. He ate. Is that your wand? <laughs> she asked. No, that's my penis, Dally, he said. Oh my god, you're so huge. You're like six inches. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. You're like six inches, dude. Oh, she shouted, gasping for breath. No, I am six inches flaccid right now i have a bone air and it i and so i am 10 inches he said Ooh. della was at a loss for words she was a virgin and did not know about dicks and it was her first time having a penis let's go to your room said he i want to have sex with you <laughs> see that's that's real smooth right there you know real real tip if you want to make it with somebody, you just say, Hey, I have a boner, so I am ten inches. 
Let's go to your room. I want to have sex with you. Bonaire. Guaranteed. Guaranteed you will get in there. So he said the password, and they went into Ravenclaw and went to Dally's bedroom. A couple Ravenclaws were like, Dally, what is he doing here? But she turned Hie into a broom, okay, with her powers as a mutant, so they didn't notice anyone. So they, she did it right in front of them? Okay. Nah, so, yeah, here's the thing. Six inches is, in fact, not small. Yeah, that's that average. That is average. But the thing is, she's acting like it's fucking ginormous. Ten inches is large, though. Yes, ten inches is large. Like, six is pretty standard. That's you know? the standard penis. Ten, like, that's that, That's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot of penis. It's a lot, yes. Then she unturned him back into Hie when they got onto her bed. They started kissing and taking their clothes off. Honestly, this would be way more sexy if he was still the broom. Yeah, they were also taking their clothes off. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Do you have birth control? Asked Dap. That's like, you know, something you're supposed to do, birth control. I mean, unless you mean condoms, in which case, call them a condom. <laughs> no, I didn't think to bring sums, he said, frowning, but he kept doing it. Oh. He ate, please, I don't want to have a baby. You can get pregnant even from your first time. What do you mean even- what? I mean, well, there is a rumor that you can't on your first time. Is that really a thing? Yeah. That's I, dumb. But I've heard the stupidest shit, because uh, my mom was a sex educator for a huge part of her life, so she'd go into classes and, like, give them, you know, education, and they'd, mm. they'd ask her questions, and that was something they asked. So real, huh. actual people believe that. That is so weird. She said, kissing him and moaning as he went faster and faster. Oh. It will be okay. You can just use your power to turn my cum into water, and then it won't be babbies. <laughs> he said, as he started to titty fuck her. <laughs> her boobs were huge. This is the first time they've described her physically. So they... <laughs> <laughs> they could wrap them around his wiener like bumblebees. Mm. Mm. I need a girl like that. I need Titties a... so big they wrap around my wiener like bumblebees. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good idea, she said, as he splurted on her neck. Why does it matter if he's not coming in her? Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I guess they're going for round two. Then flipped her over and started rubbing himself on her back. You mean her butt? Why would you be on her back? I can also use my powers to turn into kinky sex toys. Ooh. So they continued. But just from the first Kreptar, one, <laughs> Edward was watching from the darkness. Oh, that's right. He had used his vampire powers to turn into a bat, and they didn't notice him fly in. <laughs> he was angry. He was tumors. <laughs> and he was so mad at both of them that he used his wizard powers to turn the water back into cum. Oh no! He would have his revenge. Oh no, now her neck is gonna get extra sticky icky. Oh no! Oh, this is getting good right now. Alright, take over my guy. Alright. Hie and Deli woke up to the shudder of Hogwarts students cheering and lollygagging. Oh, okay. All right. They jumped out of bed and ran into the great hall, where crowds of people were crowding around a girl. What is going on here? He a de dementored to know. Wait, that's Bella, said Deli as she peered through the congregation. Just as Deli said, Bella, Edward's girlfriend, was there, and I Ronald, I Ronaldly. Ironically, that's ironic Ronald McDonald. <laughs> she was giving a speech about why teen parency is illegal. Is it in Hogwarts? I guess. You can't be a parent. Pregnancy isn't do, do they mean pregnancy or parenthood? Being a parent if you're a teen is illegal. I see. That means no pets. No pets. Well, it's a good thing we turned that water into wine, said Hie, winking at her. And then they took seats in the front. Again, he came on her neck. I don't see why this is a problem. Yeah, and then they didn't even say that he, like, went back at her. They just said he was rubbing himself on her back. Maybe maybe she, like, absorbed it through osmosis, you know? Maybe this is also an Os Osmosis Jones crossover. Oh, I fucking love Osmosis Jones. I, I know, hope right? so. I hope so. Ozzy and Drix just bust in, 
you know it goes to inside edward's immune system Ooh, i would love that <laughs> he's all angry and he's got like evil bacteria in there fuck yeah that'd be so good oh before you keep reading it died oh no turn the baby into a hat broom <laughs> pop problem <laughs> solved oh my god dude all right edward was sitting nearby and so was shadow forgot shadow was here that's right i do forget i hope sonic shows up i hope harry comes back yeah i hope harry comes back uh maybe we can get some some cream in here you know all the students had to go to this meeting because it was majority for the class for their classes probably meant uh required in the back of the rom professor snaps <laughs> comes at him with the snaps oh my god was watching bella carefully he did not get the memo about her coming to give a pubic speech, and so, from afar, he thought that it was Harry Potter's mom. Oh, no. Oh. Snape wants to fuck Harry's mom. He does. Why would he think? Bella's like a teenager, and Harry's mom, if she wasn't dead, would be like Snape's age. Mm. When Bella's speech was over, she walked to the backyard to board her 2003 Chevy pullover. When a bag flew over her head. Someone's... See, that's got quotes, quotations. You know, oh, someone's, someone said that. Someone said that out loud. I have you now, Lillian Potter, he says, and souffles her into the <laughs> trunk, of, trunk of his jeep. What did they mean? What did you mean, Art? What? He sped off into the night. Oh, it's night? I thought they just woke up for the morning. Edward Gerd. Grr. He gurs a lot. I was gonna say, that's almost all he does. Again, his senses were tingling in the moment's heat. Mm -hmm. Listen, everyone, he said. We need to save Bella. Something horny has happened <laughs> to her, and it is up to us to save her. Everyone nodded. <laughs> Listen. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a lesson here. I'm not a sexual educator. But I can definitely tell you what that is. In the furry porn community, and dogs in general, or dogs bestiality, you know, bestiality. Dogs have bulbs on the end of their penis, and when they stick it in something, it's very comfortable, and yeah, it gets stuck. To be knotted is to get stuck by and a dog. They cannot pull it out. They cannot pull it out until they come. Now, all of them as a group. <laughs> right now, you know, did it. They are stuck. They cannot leave. <laughs> They're not going to save shit. All right, where where the fuck are we? Everyone nodded, but we need someone who is good with a sword. Only one person. He a was good with a combat, <laughs> but he was feeling fangled from the sex he had with Dally. Since there was no rules, they had sex over 1,000 times. Over 1,000? thousand times that's a lot that is that is too much that's that is, you your dick would just fall off yeah you would die by about did you hear about the kid who died yeah masturbating yeah he met yeah a guy uh died from that well kid this kid masturbated for like 28 hours straight and he came like he finished like 24 times and then he died from like exhaustion i'm not even kidding i don't know if that's better or worse than the guy who died from eating 116 chicken nuggets Maybe maybe find a way to combine the two. <laughs> Put all the nuggets in your wiener. Oh, I was thinking about eating nuggies while you while you jerk but, off. Yeah. No, that'd be that'd probably be ideal eating nuggets. But okay, <laughs> where the fuck are we? I keep losing my place. About here. Ugh. Since they okay. So he did not raise in hands. His hands. In, stead, he deciphered to make a suggestion box. I think that Link should do it. Oh! Asked he a. The hero of time. Just then, a blonde boy with a green hand <laughs> and leggings came upon a griffin. He was wearing a sword and he had pointy ears. He swirled his weeping and slammed it into the ground with his foot. Let's kick some ass, he said. <laughs> uh, I, want, I want there to be a sex scene between Link and Edward. I would, I would love that. I want them to stop nodding themselves and hurry up and finish so we can move from this scene. <laughs> and then they Wii on the way. The Wii U. Snape was fucking the shit out of Bella. Oh. But since she was blind, the, bag, the bag had punctured her eyes because it was full of needles, I guess. 
She thought it was Edward and moaned punct- punctually. Edward bust into the room and saw them making whoopee, and he had a look of sheer horror on his face. He balls dropped. He could not believe that she was he was saving. In his head, he saw that his Doris Bella was in danger. But in his yes, he was seeing that was not the chase at all. Bella was indeed riding Snape's cock with her pussy, to be, just to make sure, and she was happy. He ran away as fast as his feet could carry him. Edward, wait! Dally shouted. She wanted him to come back and see treason, because she saw from the way Bella's eyes were gouged out that she did not know, but then she remembered Bella was a cunt and told Edward, I think we should kill them both. Oh, classic. So, Edward came back to the room while the both of them was still humping and attacked Bella first. He sunk his teeth into her neck like Titanic, and all at once she turned to stone. Is that something that happens in Twilight? I don't know. I don't think so. Vampires can't turn people to stone. Yeah, not at all. Dally grabbed Snape's dick and threw it out the window, (laughs) and then Link snapped him through his heart and lungs. What the fuck, dude? The scene, it was messy. Blood and guts everywhere, and Bella and Professor Snape were dead. It was in this step that they know they could defeat Dubledore. Dubledore. Michael Dubledore. When Professor Skellington heard the iPod, Uh he rushed to the show right away. Fucking goddammit, he swore. Now we will need a new teacher again. He thought to himself for a few seconds and then said, Edward, you can be our new tether. He smeared warmly. So I want to point something out really quick. Bella got kidnapped, and her eyes were gouged out, and she automatically assumed that that was just Edward, and she was like, all right, I'm down with this. I mean, have you seen the Twilight movies? No. I can tell you from extensive research of watching them that this is a thing that would happen. Because one of the movies, she spends most of the film trying to physically harm herself because that is the only way to summon him. I'm not kidding. When she is in pain or harmed, he is summoned and he is there. That that sets a bad message. It does. At one point, she is going, like, as fast as she can on a motorcycle, just, like, you know, going faster and faster and faster, like, 100 miles per hour, and she's trying to, like, smash into another car to get him to be there, like, forever. It's fucked. That's fucked. Yeah, it's really fucked. So this is totally some shit that would happen. Also, you know, she's fucking him, and he's like, if I keep fucking you, you're gonna die. And she's like, just bite me so you can keep fucking me. And he's like, I can't. So I'm gonna have to, like, calm down a bit. And she's like, just fuck me. I don't care if I die. Oh. Yeah, it's real bad. It's really fucking bad. I'm not kidding. But, uh, Edward was shocked and aroused. I could he was aroused to be a teacher. I could not believe this. It is such a hammer. He accepted the medal and went to class to teach. Since he was a vampire, he knew the most about potions. Vampires what? You know. You know. The standard vampires know about potions. This is good news for Ed, said Dally. Alright, gangbang, let's go to who's in our gang. We have Edward, me, he a Link, Shadow the Hedge Mouse, Jack Skellington's, me. And who else? She said me twice. She did. I think we should get Sasuke, said Link. He is in Griffin dues, but if we tell him Dumbledore is a pedophile, he'll probably want to kill him too. Like the number. That's an exorcinist idea, said Bella. Is Bella in the... She didn't list Bella. Bella, Bella's dead. Wait, Bella died. What happened? Maybe she meant Della. Uh, I think we should do it. They all ran to Gryffindor, commonplace, and barged in on Sospliqué. <laughs> he was changing in half-naked. Fangasm! Eee! Everyone ran out at once because it was em- embarrassing like a bear, except Hiei, who came out a few minutes later. What the hell, Hiei? shouted Dally. Do you like him? I don't think so, said Hiei. He was kind of hot, though. This is not the fucking point, barged Edward. We need his help, and so it doesn't matter what clothes he's wearing. They uncame, finally they unbotted <laughs> themselves, back in, and he was closed. What did you want, gays? <laughs> said Sasuke. <laughs> Sorry, I was studying. I need your help to kill a certain pedophile, said Shadow in a low but gruggly, gruggly voice. You're a ninjask, and therefore good with killing. Ninjask like the Pokemon. Yeah. 
You ha- you also have powers and a wizard. I'll join your team," said Sasuke. He was trying his shoes. When will we go? When will we go <laughs> on the missionary? Right fucking now," <laughs> said Bella, who's still alive. <laughs> and so they all ran off into the into the night to defeating the faggot Dumbledore <laughs> with the powers. <laughs> What do you want, gays? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, vagoos? <laughs> All uh, right, chapter five. I think I think that'll be the end. That's this the has end. been a solid hour. Oh my god, it's already been an hour. It's been an hour. It's taken an hour to read four fucking chapters. Uh, what do you guys think? You think this is good? I really. I'm you waiting know, for David Productions to animate it. You know. Yeah, I'm waiting for the OVA. I'm waiting for Face the Strange OVA and then Face the Strange Part One, Two, Three, Four, Five. You know, fuck. <laughs> uh, I hope that you guys had a had a lovely time with this stream, and I will see you on the next one. See you then. Don't let dump.